time for a great buy of the, I believe, toy variety because I got some package! And yeah, as this is what I think it is. I'll be very, very, very happy. And based off the amount of duty I had to pay, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Gotta be very careful when I'm opening this up. Okay, so this was a purchase off of Facebook. Just get, let you see what's inside here. Extremely well packed, and this is from a Mr. Gil Tucker. Um, which I'll just double check here. Yeah, so Gil went to the very last G.I. Joe convention. Um, and he picked up essentially all the convention exclusives. I don't know if he picked up multiples, but his story was um, he ran into some trouble and needed money, so he was selling everything, and he sold everything at a very, very reasonable cost. When you take the price of what they were at the convention plus tax, and if you factor in having to you know, travel there, uh, pay to get in, and all that kind of stuff. Technically, I think I paid less for these, even with shipping and customs, though with the customs, it's kind of iffy. Uh, but though I think I did. Um, yeah, probably, I mean, to, to fly to, 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 to the States would have cost me a, a, a huge amount of money. So I got these way, way cheaper than it would have cost me to go down there and get them myself. Of course, if I went down there, I probably would have driven, um, and I really wish I could have gone. It was the fi the very, very last G.I. Joe convention. Um, I had never gone. Um, I just, you know, somewhat recently joined the, um, the club. I always wanted to join that, finally joined that. Um, so now I'm picking up a lot of the exclusives and stuff that uh, were out there. I still have all the you know, original stuff <laughs> I gotta pick up, but you know, these are much more limited than those. So um, I'm trying to find the, get those when I can. So yeah, he, he was getting rid of everything. And so I said, you know what, I, I, I'll take it. Um, and his price was really, really good. And as you can see, it was really, really well packed. So in case you don't know what the 2000, I guess the 2018 G.I. Joe convention exclusives were. I will unpack all of this. Holy crap. Okay, this might be more difficult than I thought. Because he's... Well, he's gone right around. I can't even save this bubble wrap. I was going to, but he's taped right around it. I don't think I can save it. That's the result. Well, maybe I can. I don't know. Cut the tape at the edge here. Of course, this has taken so long that I'll probably run out of battery or tape or something while just shooting this. So, and this is the first figure, and this is one of the carded ones. And this is the I think this is the one that um, was part of the free what they call the parachute drop. That had so much controversy this year, but this is the carded version, the Python Patrol Para Trooper, as you can see up here. There's the uh, uh, GI Joe Con exclusive for GI Joe Club, and it is in, a, in an official GI Joe, uh, what you call them, keep case thingy, um, which are definitely the best ones to get for these by the looks of it. So. That's the first one. Moving on to the next one. Bear with me. I know. I know you're. Oh wait, I could probably. It's open on the. No, I can't. Thought I might have been able to get in from the bottom because it's open, but it doesn't look like it. So.
the G.I. Joe Con, G.I. Joe Club exclusive. This is Sonic Fighters Explosive Expert, codenamed Tunnel Rat. So this is their Sonic Fighters version. Of course, if you know the Sonic Fighters line, they had a big thing that, that made noise. They made noise and stuff like that, but there's no noise making on these particular ones because, well, that probably would have cost them a lot more money to uh, produce. <laughs> but it is a cool looking figure. Now these are all done in the modern style G.I. Joe, if you happen to know the difference between the old school and the modern. Some people prefer the old, some people prefer the new. I think it all depends on the particular figure. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Here we've got the G.I. Joe Con exclusive from G.I. Joe Club, Sonic Fighters, Amphibious Operations, codename Lamprey Officer. This is a Cobra figure. You can see he's Cobra the enemy. Is this a final card in that? G.I. Joe Con exclusive. G.I. Joe Club. This is from Sonic Fighters as well. Sonic Fighters Military Police, codename Law. Now, you will notice Law does not have order. Law does not have his dog. Uh, I don't know, does did, did Law ever go anywhere without order? <laughs> it, it's funny, The um, these were all, like I opened it from the bottom. And the top has all the padding on it, so there's no padding on the bottom. It's just all of the bubble wrap. So I'm getting into uh, these. Are where the hell? Oh, there we go. I don't know what's in this because this should be multiple things, kind of all put together. Slaughters, Marauders, Renegades, I guess. That's not what I... Yes, three pack of Sonic Slaughters, Renegades. These are loose, they didn't come carded. So, now this is an official bag. 2008, see it says right on it, 2018 G.I. Joe Con 3-pack figure set C. So that is technically, this is, this is packaged. This is, the, it look, it's loose, but it's really in box. Whatever. And then this is the 2018 G.I. Joe Con 3-pack, three 3-figure three pack set B. The Python Rock Viper. Yes. Yeah, three pack as well. Um, you can't really see them because they're all in the package and stuff, but again, it is official release. It says right there. But that's not all. That's not all. No, there's more to come. Like I said, should be everything that was exclusive to the convention this year. At least it was when he told me. When you do bubble wrap, you don't need to wrap the tape around it. You just need to secure the bubble wrap. The tape just makes it difficult to open. When you're dealing with stuff where you can cut into plastic, that's not a good thing. What is this? This is... Ah, uh, yes, the pair of vipers. So... Here. 
use the same things. Similar. Okay, so this is the officer, and these are the para vipers, I guess, that go with him. So two pack of para vipers, right? Yeah, para viper two pack. Again, official release. And then there's more in here. We've got the Python Patrol. Okay, so this does not come in an official bag. It's just a tape. But this is the uh, what do they call this? Python Patrol snake armor, so it's one of those. It's funny. I always thought they were robots, and when I was when I was a kid, but I'm guessing that they're supposed to because in the toy you put the guy inside, so I guess they were supposed to be armor. I just always thought they were robots in the, in the cartoon. <laughs> and then this looks like it is the Para Vipers. Uh, oh, these are laser viper weapon, a three pack of laser viper weapons. So, you can guess what that means, right? Opening up some more bubble wrap. Python Patrol Machine Gunner Saw Viper 3 pack. So, can't really see anything, but they're in there. This is set figure A, so A, B, and C are done. <laughs> and then, I think this is the last one. Gotta be careful here. Now I do have the convention box, I ordered that um, because you could get that without going to the convention itself. And so this is, this is the guy that caused all of the commotion, yes. The paratrooper viper loose, so this is the same as this guy here in the loose package. Um, is there one or two in there? No, it's just one. Um, where, and as you can see, I this is this is an official one. I didn't get it off of some guy who barreled over kids to get his and you know stuff. No, this is sealed official. So don't 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 come after me or anything like that. Um, I made sure to get you know everything was on the up and up. And I will just double check here. This should be. All right, so yeah, a bunch of very, very exclusive G.I. Joe figures that you could only get this year if you went to the G.I. Joe convention and spent some money. Um, now, there are places like Big Bad, Big Bad Toy Store that often tries to get some of these in and other retailers. Um, and if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to find them. Um, I do know a lot of people purchased a lot to resell, knowing that this was the final year. So, um, yeah, they will be out there on the secondhand market. You just got to find them. And with that, I say good luck, happy hunting. Um, and, yeah. I, I, do I... Like, this guy I can open, because he's just a regular bag, but... Do I open the other guys? Comment down below. I need to know. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.